You may have heard of Korean Class 101, How to Study Korean.com, and the well known Talk to Me in Korean. These free resources are great for learning grammar, but what about the not so well known resources that you can use on the side? that you can implement in your Korean learning routine to make it more fun and engaging. I know for me, I like to spice it up a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some free Korean resources that not many people talk about in their videos, but I think is worth knowing. Onsei's university's first step Korean course on Coursera is the first stop you should be making if you don't know Hanukkah. It is 100% free and is a good course if you want a structure and deadlines like an actual class. The lessons come with PDFs so you can practice and review what you learned in each video lesson. The next website I think is worth mentioning is Junior Navier. You might think I sound crazy because this website was made for kids, but for me, it has helped with my listening comprehension and picking up words faster since the songs are very catchy. I think it's important to start from a very simple level and work your way up, so if your goal for learning Korean is to understand K-dramas without subtitles, I suggest using this website when you're an elementary level learner so by the time you're advanced, your comprehension skills can understand that K-drama with no issue. Next is Navier Webtoon. You've probably heard of the app Webtoon, but you may or may not have known that it originated from Korea. When I found out, I immediately downloaded the app to give it a try, but this app is for more intermediate and advanced learners. So, but I think it's worth mentioning and is really good practice for your rating. I don't use it as much since I'm not that, at that level yet, but I think it's really good to practice if you are at that level. If you enjoy podcasts, I suggest you start listening to them more and implement Korean study podcasts in your routine. I listen to them when I'm cleaning or just doing simple things around the house. If you're an intermediate or advanced learner, I suggest you listen to Talk To Me in 100% Korean and Ayagi lessons because they are completely in Korean and will help you a lot with your comprehension skills. The next one is a YouTube channel called Conversational Korean that I think is mainly good because it gives a lot of vocabulary. And when I mean a lot, I really mean a lot because most of their videos are vocabulary lists. Here and there, they do have basic Korean grammar lessons, but I didn't really see any ones for intermediate and advanced learners. So if you are a beginner or upper beginner, I think this channel is really good for you. Okay, but why haven't I seen a lot of people mention Memrise? Maybe they have, but I just wasn't paying attention. Either way, Memrise is a really good website to learn vocabulary words. You can use someone else's deck or make your own. It uses space repetition, and I think it's one of the best apps to learn vocabulary with you've been studying korean for a while please please tell me that you know about korean omni she makes learning korean easy and fun her videos are super short fun and straight to the point i've been using her videos to study since the beginning of my korean learning journey and let me say i don't think i'll ever stop watching them next is learn korean in korean like the title this youtube channel teaches korean in korean but don't be discouraged, the teacher is great and surprisingly, you might find yourself actually understanding what he's saying, even if you're not completely comprehending the Korean. If you want to progress in Korean fast, I suggest you use this YouTube chip channel. Tammy Korean is a good channel if you want to take the topic test. Her lessons are based with that goal in mind. She conducts her channel sort of like a class and has a short homework that you can do at the end. She offers a free PDF of Topic 1 vocabulary words list, as well as a grammar list that you might need to take the topic. She even has quizzes on the website. And my personal favorite is Miss Vicky. I love her in-depth lessons so much. I find them really fun and interesting. And when I don't understand a grammar point from my textbook, I usually go to her channel because she explains everything incredibly well. Well, that's all I have for today's video. It was pretty short, but I hope it gave you some free resources and channels that you could try out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.